just reading through some of the uh, passages in the book of Enoch again and encourage anybody out there if you are into studying the Word of God definitely to make this <clears throat> you know to read through this uh, the book of Enoch because it, it gives great insight into the time that we're in and how God is going to deal with the wickedness here on earth and so that you won't be uh, fearful you know or lacking trust in his plan because contrary to how everything might look right now with the earth see seeming to be in a time of darkness where evil reigns and is, is ruling and uh, the wicked schemes of men of plotting vipers seems to not maybe have an end while well, it is coming to an end okay and uh i just encourage you guys to read through the, the enoch one the rh charles version right it's 108 chapters that's enoch one there's a couple other books i believe enoch two and enoch three i think but this is the, the the real legit one the other ones you can read but this is really the word of god i believe it's part of it as jude quoted from it okay and it, it tells us here you know that the kings of the earth okay are going to be downcast in countenance in the day that he deals with them and they shall burn before the face of the holy and as lead in the water they will sink before the face of the righteous and no trace of them will be found anymore yes that is the leaders self-appointed leaders right who desire global government right not in justice and righteousness and by good judgment no but by deceit and uh you know their their wisdom came from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil from kabbalah from uh occult knowledge okay from vile practices that allowed them to become chalices of uh, Satan's demonic kingdom and spirits and they do blood sacrifices and all types of evil well guess what they're not going to be able to, to continue in their uh, their lies anymore as we approach the threshold of judgment and it's the end of the age of grace the end of the church age okay and chapter 50 here it tells us in those days a change will take place for the holy and the elect and the light of days will abide upon them and glory and honor honor will turn to the holy on the day of affliction on which evil will have been treasured up against the sinners right the multiplying brood of the ungodly okay and god is going to make his people to be victorious in the sight of all the nations right and he's going to cause everybody to witness it and he's going to judge the wicked for what they've done for the deceit that they've operated by and their spiritual robbery poisoning people's blood depopulating the earth right so they think they can rule and reign well guess what they shall perish forever now for as they attempt to switch over it all their judgment begins we are literally in the end of days right now you guys the euphrates is drying up it looks like the uh the uh, omega sign literally the river euphrates shows i posted that last night we're there okay there's gonna be hail dropping down upon their heads huge hailstones and tor torrential rainfall as they invade our land right they think they're going to use the armies to accomplish their agenda well god will use calamity plague judgments galore and his sword and arrows to remove and destroy them from off the land so you know they have uh rejected the lord of spirits and his anointed and have re disregarded the warnings and the messages of his prophets and he's been merciful and patient and he's gonna bring it down upon their heads now so i encourage you guys read through the book of enoch the R.H. Charles version is the one I like. I don't know how many. There's at least two or three, but that's, you know, they're all relatively similar, but that's the one I think I like I like best. He did the best translation. And, uh, 
you're going to see God's judgment fall here soon. And unrighteous shall not maintain itself. And at his judgment, the un unrepentant will perish before him and will have no continuance. Okay, but he says that the people who are going to witness this, okay, when he judges them and all the evil and wickedness that the, 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 the uh, nations have done, okay, to their idols, right, to their own selfish gain and unrighteous way, will be rewarded now. He is going to pay these people back for what they've done, and they still think they're going to get away, and are still trying and attempting to get away with evil while it all folds back on them. Like Haman hung on his own gallows, that's what's about to happen. You're going to witness, and there's a lot of evil and stuff that's going to be exposed now. Full blast. They're all going to be put on full blast, and we're at the door. This is at the door, you guys. The judgment, the revelation... Read chapter 8 and 9 of Revelation because you'll know when you see these huge calamities begin to take place, we are definitely in the Revelation. We already are. We have been. But it'll become un undeniably obvious when you see that. And also chapter 7 is when the change happens in those days. The change will take place for the holy and the elect and the light of days will abide upon them. Right, he said he's going to open his eyes upon the house of Judah. Right? That's when he comes down to sit in his tabernacle and he changes his people. Okay, A change will take place Okay, and everybody's going to see it. And that's his government he's setting up. Like it says, uh, you know, Isaiah 9, his everlasting government and the oppressors and the extortionist and the robbers and those that spoiled us. Okay. It all flips over back on their heads. So congratulations to you wicked children. You're going to be spoiled. When you, as you cease to end, make an end to deal treacherously, you're going to be dealt very treacherously with you. Why? Because of men's blood, right? For the violence of the city and of the land and of all that dwell therein. Okay, and they're gonna, we're going to rise up suddenly. All it is is just a, just a shift in awareness and spirit. We got enough oil right now to shift. We're just waiting on God now. And all it is is just like he did in the, the, the first miracle. He turned water to wine, right? In the wedding, the six pots. And that's symbolic of when this change happens. It's the first miracle is his wedding. When he comes down and the marriage is consummated, he enters into his people. He tur turns water into wine. Okay, and then it's threshing time. Gathering, binding tares in the darkness, right? At evening tide, trouble, okay? And before the morning, he is not, and the wicked are all about to be removed and spoiled as they attempt to go all digital. We are at the door, you guys. So read through the book of Enoch. The, the audio on YouTube is like four and a half hours, I think, or in between three and a half, four and a half hours. So, uh, you know, this is important. And it'll, get, it'll strengthen your faith. But recognize we are at that time now, you guys. So, uh, you know, this is what's going to happen. Okay, in these in these days, they shall become downcast of countenance. Okay, those who possess the land because of the works of their hands, right? The the Federal Reserve fractional reserve system. Okay, is a, a cabal. Okay, that it's they're not going to maintain. On the day of their anguish and affliction, they will not be able to save themselves. And I will give them into the hands, over into the hands of my elect. As straw on the fire, so they will burn before the face of the holy. Okay. And he said he's going to let us chop off their necks. As they've set up all these uh, this 30,000 guillotines in the U.S. that they've made, the U.S. military has, is ready to use as they switch over into this time. And they'll be hunting down Christians, but... Isaiah 34 is for the militaries of the earth. They serve the elites. They're genetically modified souls, human beings. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if there's going to be any type of recourse for them unless God does. I don't, don't think it's going to be. It's going to be just judgment. Okay. And they get are going to get what they deserve. So I encourage you guys, heed what I'm saying and realize the wrath of God will fall soon. Okay. There's plenty of crimes against humanity that have been done. And then they want to silence and censor us. Well, it all gets flipped back over on all their heads. So watch now. 
Okay, and we'll talk more later, you guys. I love you.